What's up, YouTube? I'm going to start this from the front so everybody will know how it was built. Uh, the front of it, that you can see, it sits real low to the ground. The front is from a go-kart. Uh, took a go-kart, and I actually cut the front end off of it and used it. Uh, reason being is that it's wider. Uh, if you try to use the regular riding lawnmower front end, it's too close together. I'm going to tell you again, it's too close together. I tried it, uh, I flipped, ended up on my butt. Uh, so you want to use, or widen the go-kart, you want to use the go-kart. Do not use the ride lawnmower. I know somebody out there going to try it, but you're going to end up on your buttocks. Uh, welded it right there too. You see the bar. The rims, I did finally cut the stud. I uh, had to re make those longer because these wheels... Uh, with the go-kart and turning radius and all that so I went to Lowe's and bought it it works uh, the speakers are still there the tweeter the subs put some more gray in it so y'all can see it gray right there the CD player up front uh, this wire is for the auxiliary to plug whatever whatever you want to plug to it you got uh, the push start button that's there the shifter is there the uh, I put some gray back here, some gray, fresh gray paint on the sprocket. All right, on to this. This is a super pocket bike, not a pocket bike, super pocket bike rear end. It's a bigger frame, stronger shock. You want to use, if you try to build it, you want to use the top where the motor mounts are, and you want to use the bottom, and on up. Then you want to cut it short, cut the frame short. Uh, the pipe is from a 49cc, hollowed out, re-welded back up there. Uh, flip the seat up, then you can see a little bit more. Um, you see the poles, it's a lot of whales everywhere. Uh, but it holds, I've been riding it and dogging it, really. Um, put a strong cross member bar top, on, on the top right here. See, this is a motor mount right here. This is my muffler. Um, all the wires are ran up and under. Uh, more gray right there. I could put the seat down still. I did cover the seat in gray material. I went to Walmart, cut the original seat to the way that I cut the seat, and uh, used adhesive spray. Sprayed it on there, covered it, and cut it. And it, I mean, it turns out pretty good. It works. I got my ground and my pipe, power wire. Open the hood on it. You see all the wires, the CD player in there, uh, the gas tank. I ended up leaving the gas tank where it was. I just made a hole, put it there, put a cap over it, and uh, it works. It works. Overall, I get a lot of reviews. I mean, a lot of people that come around my house and they love it. It's different. Nobody else out there has a ride lawnmower that's lowered to the ground, plus a reverse T-Rex, and subs and tweeters. I mean, it's really different. I'm going to fire it up real quick, let y'all hear the pipe. And uh, that it do got some growl to it. Give me a minute. I do. I did finally get my battery in, but I used my battery also. Uh, I used my battery also for the four wheelers, so I decided not to mount it in here because it, it. I ride it, but when we out here four wheeling, we we four wheel, so I ain't pulling this out. This is more of a showpiece. You know, to me. Fire right up. Where the pipe? Pipe sound good. And she idles beautiful. Idles beautiful, man. I mean, you can't ask for much. You heard a little pop, and that's 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 what I like to hear. You gotta set your car just right. Sort of pop like that for the uh, 110 semi automatic Chinese motor. Just set your car right and it'll pop just like that. Pop, pop. Like you got a real big ass motor, but you really ain't got nothing up under there. But overall, that's all I wanted to give y'all a real nice low down view of how I built it. It did take me about a month and a half to do it. But YouTube, I'm out. I'm gonna come up with something else to build. So check me out.